Welcome to Wall Street Confidential. Now more than ever, perhaps discipline is an important tactic when you are investing in this market, right. which is just going, it's a, it's a difficult market, Jen. Right. Well, you know, I, I think I want to address the notion of flip-flop, mm -hmm. okay? It's something I'm always accused of. Uh, I believe that in any given market, you may have fabulous ideas. Mm -hmm. But at various times, if you don't ring the register, if you don't take something off, and I want everyone to read, there's a particular chapter in Real Money where mm -hmm. I talk about uh, Philip Morris and how I let it go up, have a big move, and then it came right back down off a court suit. And in it, I never forgot that you don't have a profit until you take some of it. Right. But people interpret when I said, and this happened to my friend Aaron Burnett and I are going back and forth. She goes, Jim, you turned negative on ag. And I said, well, no, I felt that ag had gone up too much mm -hmm. and it could recharge and go back. And that's kind of what happened. But you know, I think people were looking for like a 25% decline. You're not going to get that. The sector's too strong. But you have the 8 to 10% pullback. Mm -hmm. Like I use deer. Deer went to 95 and then pulled back to 84. Okay, so now you're starting to talk about that 10% pullback. Right. When you have a bullish group, you're going to get, and you get a 10% pullback, you've got to put your money back. But hopefully you've taken something off the table. My reservation of just staying long has to do with a, um, a particular style that I have, which is that I buy down and sell up. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds like it's natural, but it really isn't. It's against human nature. Human nature is to buy when things are on the run and sell when things get bad. And I've tried to tame human nature with my, with my methods. Now, um, it would be so much easier for just say, okay, here's my method, um, buy, 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 and as long as it's going up, fine. But that never worked for me. You have to find out what works for you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've got great guys on this site. Fitzpatrick, he'll talk about what works for him. Farley, what, what, what works for him. Uh, Bob Morrison, now Vince Farrell, mm -hmm. what works for them. Everybody, it works. I've always been a big believer that you have to figure out what works for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, for a lot of people, like Helene Meisler, technical analysis mm -hmm. works for them. For me, what works is that I get conviction, and then my discipline has me scale back. Mm -hmm. The scale back is clearly perceived by most people as meaning I've lost conviction. It has nothing to do with that. It has with the idea of fallibility. Mm -hmm. People who just let everything ride, and I see them at the card tables, and I see them here. I mean, it's interesting. I was with the Borgata guys the other night, and the Borgata guys know my style. My style is, is that you, you, you know, when you think you're hot, you pull back. Mm -hmm. Because that's what's worked for me. Uh, and, but people are thinking, well, he no longer likes Agri. No, no, I like Agri. No longer likes Mosaic. No, the fundamentals are great. What I don't trust is myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have to check my bullishness. In the same way that if I hit, you know, like let's say the dealer's got a 16 and I've got 15 and this dealer bus, 16, 15 dealer bus, 16, 15 dealer bus. And then, you know, no, suddenly I get, I, get two, I get two nines and I split them in the dealer bus. And then I th start thinking, everything I do is right. Mm -hmm. I can do anything and it's right. That's Agri and Mosaic. You've got to check against that. Buying homework. Right. Well, but no, it, it, um, no, the homework's good. The homework is good. Mm -hmm. The homework says don't sell mosaic. Yeah. It, that's the conviction. The conviction is the homework. Right. The discipline is is that you have to recognize that even your homework can be wrong. All right. You know, wrong in terms of what the stock does, not in terms of what the company does. Mosaic is on fire, but so is the stock. And I, you know, if you like the stock at fifty and it's one hundred and four and you haven't taken anything off the table, I think that's reckless. For more, definitely check out Real Money. It is the Bible of investing, I yeah, think, here in these, in these markets. Thank you very much, Thank Jim you. Kramer. This is Wall Street Confidential. Stay tuned. That's your action point. Take advantage of it.